heading up to Lake Opiongo. Uh, I'm scheduled to stay at Big Crow Lake tonight. Winds are they're not too bad today. It's hot though, but maybe 29 degrees Celsius.
so it's three o'clock it took me exactly three hours to get up Lake Obiango from the access point to uh, Perul Portage There is a small pond that you could take if you go straight. Here's the other side of the pond. Now from here it's about 900 meters, but it uh, follows an old road so it's pretty pretty flat and pretty easy. A little bit of a downhill at the end. Just taking a break here, probably about three quarters of the way across. Oh, it's not so bad, just today it's hot, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it like I did on the Shrew Lake canoe trip where I, I got heat stroke on that one. Um, so I'm gonna try to take it easy. Now starting on the downhill part. Almost there. This is the only portage of the day. I got a few more kilometers of uh, paddling. I got to go up Pruel Lake, Crow River, Little Crow, and into Big Crow Lake. And that's where I'll be staying for the night. And tomorrow I'll tackle uh, Crow River, Lavier, Dixon. This way is where, you probably can't see it on the camera, but that's where the old road goes, down that way. And then Portage goes this way. Okay, made it to Pru Lake. It's a paddle up to that one far point and then I'll be heading north. Okay, all set. Just wanna show, hey, uh, just put uh, my backpack in a plastic bag because I paddled up Opiongo last week and I was using um, my North Face dry bag and even though it's a dry bag uh, some water got it was pretty wavy so a lot of water got in, trapped in the back and everything inside my backpack got soaked so just taking it safe this time I'm using this lighter bag with uh, just the plastic over it when I'm on the, the water. All right, time to hit the water.
just approaching uh, Crow River where it comes out of north end of Cruel Lake. A portage to uh, Red Rock Lake. Hmm. Maybe in a few weeks I'll go that way. Just entering um, Little Crow Lake. One week ago today, I was in this exact same spot, and it was uh, it was really windy, and it was actually snowing out. and just coming into a big crow lake.
caught a Canadian swallowtail butterfly on the beach here. Well, let's check out the campsite. All right, so Sandy Beach campsite is available. It's right across from where the, the cliff and the fire tower are. I went to the cabin. Uh, there's uh, some people staying there, so I couldn't do the trail up to the fire tower. I'm not sure if you could see it up there. But uh, looks like it's a great view though. Let's check out the campsite. Very nice fire pit, but I think there's a fire ban, so I don't think I'll be making a fire on there. I have to use my little stove. Well, it looks like uh, some nice areas for the tent. over here all right let's get unpacking and make supper I got my rice boiling here I let it cook for a little bit and I'll set up my tent and uh, I'll probably turn in pretty early I worked overnight last night and uh, <laughs> paddled from Opiongo all the way up to this campsite so yeah, I'm pretty tired. Just uh, gotta get some food into my belly first and then lay down and get up nice and early tomorrow morning and uh, tackle the Crow River. Gonna go all the way to Dixon. Well, I guess I'm gonna turn in for the night. Sun's gonna set soon and I'm pretty tired. I was up for over a day. I worked overnight last night. Paddled from Opiongo all the way up here to uh, Big Crow Lake today. I had my supper. It was pretty good. It was just um, just uh, easy rice. Really easy to make. and it's Put some beef jerky in it as well. It was pretty good. Uh, I just finished that. Uh, hung my food bag. Cleaned the dishes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, I'm going to get up nice and bright and early and... Head down the old Crow River. So, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it's about uh, 5.30. Cleaned up the campsite. And uh, ready to hit the water. Mosquitoes are pretty bad this morning. Looks like a nice morning though.
And good morning from Crow River. Heading down the river today. Um, I'm debating whether to go check out the, the white pine. The mosquitoes are really, really bad this morning, so I might uh, forego that and just head right to the first portage instead. We'll see when I get there. It should be uh, coming up pretty soon. Oh, watch out for those rocks. Pro River looks like we'll be uh, going down some swifts before the next portage. This one is pretty easy. It's about two, I think about 240 meters. It was, wasn't bad. I switched out to the uh, the neoprene booties. So we'll see how these ones work. For the, so I imagine these next portages are going to be kind of muddy.
the end already. Alright, this is the, the long portage of the morning. It was like 1,300 meters. I was going to try to single it, but friggin' mosquitoes were so bad at the takeout, so I just wanted to get going because once you're moving, it's not so bad. So. I think when I come across uh, the halfway point or the road, I'll go back and get the backpack and then maybe I'll single it from, uh, from there. Okay, went and got my backpack. Uh, yeah, the boat at the halfway point. So, uh, just gonna single the rest of it now. It's a pretty easy portage so far. It's pretty, uh, um, pretty flat. There's not much roots or rocks, so it's pretty easy to walk.
There is the uh, the campsite that's along the river. Can't believe I made it here already. Time is it? It's only 8:12 in the morning. Okay. I guess I'm making pretty good time today. I'm not even really I'm not even really rushing either. Okay, here's the first of the last four portages, they're all pretty short, so I'm just going to single them. Lots of little toads on this portage. That part kind of sucked, I had to lob the kayak over those two logs that were blown down.
Give him four cash. Might be able to skip this too. I'm just gonna pull over and scout it a bit. This one does look like it is uh, runnable, so. able to skip those last two portages, they weren't too bad. So that's the last of the portages before I come into Crow Bay. Right here, right in front of me. I'm just gonna pull over for a bit of a snack break and stretch my legs. Let's check out the site. Nice sight. Nice and breezy so there's no bugs.
Just finished that short uh, 90 meter portage. Lavier to Dixon. So now I'll be heading down Dixon towards the Dixon Bonfield Portage. It's about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's a really clear lake. See down pretty far. Okay, it's uh, 3.04. I'm going to carry my kayak a ways and then come back for the for the backpack. Just, the skittles were so bad there at the, the takeout, so I just want to get kind of into the bush a little bit here. Well, I made it to uh, Bonfield Lake. Portage was a little bit more difficult than I expected, and as usual, I uh, probably pushed myself more than I should have. Just heading down Bonfield Lake. It's just a small lake, so it'll be a quick paddle across to the portage.
heading down Wright Lake now. One more portage and then I'll be in uh, back in Lake Opiongo. Here I am on Lake Opiongo. I had to do that portage quickly as well. But the mosquitoes are crazy. I didn't have a chance to record anything, so it's just a short, easy portage anyway. It's nothing really significant. It's pretty, pretty straight and flat, wide. About it. Anyway, still far to get on Opiongo. Looks like it's gonna be a nice evening. a campsite here I'm just going to pull up into. I think I'm going to call it a night. Well, I set up my tent quickly because the mosquitoes are crazy. Just put it up as a, pretty much as a fly net. I didn't put the, um, the fly on. Uh, just going to Take a nap and get up nice and early and head out. Have a good night. And good morning. The campsite I stayed on. Uh, pulled in around, uh, I'd say, nine or so. Well, maybe later than that, maybe around ten or so. I can't remember. But um, just had like a quick snooze didn't even eat and now it's around six o'clock heading back to the access point nice and calm and open angle we'll be heading off in this direction kind of at the edge of the uh, east arm just before the narrows the mosquitoes are still crazy